Hello, folks. Welcome to another big conversation here on Spurred On. I'm here with Emma and Craig, and this week it's the first week of December. It's nearly the end of 2015. It's been a really good year for Spurs, particularly this season. But a lot of people say you can't really judge a season until maybe Christmas, and maybe a lot of teams start to fade away after Christmas. So what we're talking about is where will we end the year, and how's it going to impact on stuff. So. As it's been a good year, Emma, why don't you kick us off? Where do you think we're going to end it? What's going to happen? Well, I mean, I'm a bit scared to be as optimistic as I'm going to be here, but I can't really help it. You know, let's face it, nobody expects us to be in the position that we're in at the moment in terms of the fact unbeaten since the start mm -hmm. of the season. Um, having had, you know, a really tough November, come out again, five points from nine, doing really well, playing really good football, looking really solid. It's all a bit, dare I say it, unspursy. Um, and looking ahead, now that we've got that Chelsea game out of the way, the next six fixtures we've got are all, dare I say it, eminently winnable. Um, yeah, West, <laughs> West Brom, Monaco, Newcastle, Southampton, Norwich, Watford. It scares, it scares me. That, I do you? fancy that. I mean, I think Southampton away is always going to be a little bit tricky. Um, you know, Ronald Koeman is a good manager. They've got some decent players and mm -hmm. ones who can really catch you out. Um, obviously, we've, talk, we've, sp we've spoken about West Brom and the fact that, you know, Jeremy Pease hates us, West Brom generally hates us, like it's going to be a tough one, we're going to have to grind it out. But if you take those two away from it, I think you look at the others, I mean, Newcastle at the moment, absolutely terrible. Yeah, we've got to be Newcastle. Um, Norwich, Boxing Day, you know, it's been a couple of years since we had a Boxing Day home game, I think that, can, you know, we should be really up for that. And then Watford away, like, you know, Watford have been playing some really good football this season, but I can't see them being too strong for us. Yeah. So. So you're con fairly confident. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm kind of confident. I feel like we could end 2015 in the top four. Um. I think especially when you need to look as well at the fact that Arsenal have got an absolute shed load of injuries now. I mean, you know, Alexis Sanchez being the latest one, he could be out for a while. Um. And Leicester, you know, they have been brilliant this season, but at some point. Jamie Vardy's got to stop scoring. He has got to stop scoring. Mm. And so I think there's room for manoeuvre in that top four. I kind of leave City and United out of it because I sort of feel like they'll just carry on like no matter what. But in terms of those right. three, I feel like there is room for us. There's room for us to get there. Also, yeah. Jamie Vardy, the last team he didn't score against was us. Um, and in terms of though, you're talking about Arsenal having loads of injuries, right? Yeah. What happens to us? Let's say we get a couple of injuries. Let's say Kane, oh, uh, one of our centre backs, and Dele Alli. Get it's injured. What are we doing then? Are we screwed? It's, it's big problems because we don't have another striker, a real orthodox striker up front. We don't have another one. I mean, Son can fill in, NG maybe, but really and truly an out-and-out -out goal scorer, someone that can make it stick, play off the other midfielders. We ain't got no one. There's Bobby some key... Soldado. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. I mean, if Harry Kane gets injured, Toby out of road, I think there's huge problems. Even Eric Dyer. Yeah, Eric yeah, Dyer yeah. gets injured, we don't have a great holding midfielder, let's be honest. Exactly, so, so are we kind of, we're a bit too much of a first 11, do you think? I don't know, I think if Kane gets injured, I think we all agree it is massive problems. Yeah. With the other positions in the pitch, I think we've got enough about us, especially with these current list of fixtures that I think will be all Even right. Even at centre half? Really? Yeah, I think so, because... Who are you I putting in, Vimmer? So. Vimmer. Yeah, I don't, I, we haven't seen enough of him. Because Toby Alderweireld has been the signing, no, of, has, arguably, of the summer in the league. He has been, but Kevin Vimmer, yeah, you say we haven't seen enough of him. What we have seen of him has been decent. If you don't see enough of him, you don't know how good he could be. Mm, yeah, but let's say, okay, let's say, let's say we, Ali and Dyer both get injured, which could happen. And maybe even Dembele, who went down well, and we all look, panicked against you know, Chelsea. I think what we forget... I bet I mean, Mason and Bentele good enough to fit into this side now? Well, this is what yeah. I mean, though. Like, of course they, they are. are. But you think up until, literally up until pre-season, Mason and Bentaleb that was, was the absolute nailed on. That was our central yeah. defensive mid, and everybody yeah. was really excited about it. They played really well last season. It so happens that Dyer and Ali have come in and run with it, taken their chance, and just been brilliant. But that doesn't mean that Mason and Bentaleb suddenly got rubbish. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's not. That's <laughs> the, 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 the defensive midfield is not really the concern. If, if Harry Kane yeah. and Alderweireld for me get injured, that could hinder our top four chances, in my opinion. I think the spine, our spine, is more of an eleven, like it, mm. not an eleven, but we got our first team choices. Anyone else that comes in, I just don't think. I mean, Alderweireld and Vertonghen and have chemistry. Vimmer comes in, you know, we haven't seen much of him. He might be good, but he won't have the chemistry that exactly. Adderall and Vertonghen has. And Harry Kane, like I said, we just don't have another striker. Literally. It's so, problems. So should we be, is it, so is it a real concern then, in the Arsenal sense, that Arsenal have got loads of injuries now and they keep drawing games against teams they should be beating? Is it, not us included, is <laughs> it a concern then? Like, you never like Toby and Yan, just one of them. All it takes is one time. It is tackle. because I feel like we're, we're, we're treading on thin ice. Like that season, I hate to do the comparison with Arsenal, but that season where they had just Van Persie mm. and he was going, and he used to get injured all the time, but that one season when they beat, just pipped us for top four, he had an unbelievable season and didn't get injured. And we're kind of relying on that to happen with Harry Kane. We're, we're, we're saying this guy needs to be fit the whole season, play every, every, almost every game. And if he gets injured, that's it. I mean, they're making excuses about Sanchez playing every game, but yeah. Harry, Harry Kane played an end-of-season tournament. He played in the England under-21s. He's played every competition for us. 
this season almost, every game, sorry. And um, yeah, like if he gets injured, that's it. That is it. Well, you so said, where, well, okay. Who's going to score? Hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dembele. Chill. Well, yeah, Dembele will score. But no, what I was going to say, quite seriously, is like you keep saying until the end of the season. January transfer window opens in there's no one out a month's there. time. There's no one but out there. But is it an there. issue no, that you're, no signing, you're signing a striker to sit on the bench? It is, it is an issue. Although if Harry Kane is injured, I suppose you're not. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? It is an issue, but that is an area that looks at me. We've talked about in the summer how we didn't get who we were after. Maybe it is something that needs to be looked at in January. Maybe it needs to be like a quick fix, like somebody who can just be like, you know, a steady pair of hands if, God nah. forbid, anything should go wrong with Kane. Yeah, but so you'd rather not sign anybody then? No, no, of course not. But I think it has to be uh, it has to be the right person or, the, or, or there is oh, no point. Because like, there was that season that. where Harry and I brought in Saha yeah, I don't and know. it did nothing. <laughs> like, it actually did oh, nothing. Saha. Like, we didn't finish as high as we should have. It just did nothing. No, we need to bring in someone good. He didn't I don't, okay. I don't disagree with that, but it's just like we're talking about the worst case scenario about what happens if Kane gets injured. I'm saying, look, yeah. we've only got a month until we have options of being able to bring somebody else in. Doesn't mean we're going to, doesn't mean it's going to be the right player, but I'm saying it's not the big doomsday scenario. I think yeah. that you're making it out to be. But this is, we're talking, you know, post end of the year anyway, so yeah. let's go so back Craig, to the year. You said before that you're slightly concerned about how Spurs it will be if Berahino scores the winner against us oh, when we play West Brom. Well, yeah. So are you kind of worried? Are you kind of worried about the West Brom fixture? Um, yeah, I am. I am because, like I said, they beat Arsenal. I mean, the Hawthorns isn't an easy place to go. Tony Pulis' teams are not easy to beat. We're gonna have to grind out the result, and I feel like there's a bit of bad blood there, and it might be just mm. in the executive level, but still yeah. that trickles down, and 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 a lot of the players are really. I think they're really gonna want to prove a point. West Brom have some dangerous players over there. Yeah, but do. I think if there's one thing that we've proved this season is that we've got character now. We're yeah, not a pushover we anymore. Do. We've spent so many seasons where everybody talks about Spurs being like the, the soft team. They've got the underbelly. Oh, you can always turn them over eventually. Mm. We don't have that reputation anymore. Poch has made sure that yeah. we don't. So, yeah, it's a tough game. Yes, it is going to be a case of they really want to get one over on us. But I think we're man enough to deal with that. Haven't we got a Europa League game this week? Uh, no, this week? Oh, okay, we can't. We can't. Okay, cool. um, is there an issue with the fact that we're still feeling nervous about games like West Brom? I mean, are City going into games against West Brom feeling nervous? Is that part of the problem? Our yeah, perception uh, of listen, Spurs? Should we be changing it going? We're definitely going to turn these teams over. We shouldn't well, worry about it. No, I don't think so. Because this season, of all seasons in the Prem for a very long time, I think we've shown that, quite frankly, anybody is beating anybody at the moment. Yeah. 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 Man City flying at the top of the league. Then Liverpool come along and absolutely destroy them. I mean, this yeah. is not a league where you suddenly go, oh, yeah, Everyone's a given. Pretty There's no much, such thing as an easy game. Pretty anymore. much no one's a given, all, really. Right. The way this season has gone, it's been so Maybe Newcastle. Yeah, what about Maybe Newcastle? Newcastle. But I don't, don't, don't want to put that into universe. <laughs> I don't want them to come and then play. Yeah, that's famous last words, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I just want a, I just want a win, lose, draw from each of you when I say these teams. Okay. What do you think is going to happen? Okay. okay. Let me you go first. <laughs> West Brom. Win. Win. Monaco. Win. win. Newcastle. It has to be a Better win. be a win. <laughs> yeah, it has to be. Southampton. Draw. I'm going to go for win. Norwich. Win. Win. Watford. Win. Wait, is it home or away? Away. It's away. Only up the road, though. Do you I know mean, what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for 15 points. Wow! I'm going for 15 yeah, points. Wow. I am going for 15 like, points. Can I just say, after all that, you give me the all the grief for being optimistic, and you've actually said that we're going to talking about injuries. We're talking about injuries, though. If we've got injuries, <laughs> and about Berahino and the bad blood, and he's I am, but I'm, I think I, I'm gonna go 15. I have. To, I think out of those, uh, it's as simple as this. If we if we play what we're capable of playing on the day, yeah, we've got more quality than them. We've got the high pressing. We should win. We should win all of those games. Should. And will two different two different things, things but okay, I think we will. In that case, then I want to know from each of you by the end of 2015, where are Spurs going to be in the league? Craig, you go first. How many points are we on at the moment? Oh, 25. <laughs> 25. We're on 25 points, so we could potentially be on 40. 40 points. I, I reckon we could be. Well, f one of those games is against Monaco. Oh yeah. All right. So we could be 37. 37. I think we're going to be on 37. But I think we're going to be up there. I where? really think. Uh, what's what's the position? I want to know the exact position. Depending on everyone else's fixtures, I'm saying third or second. Well, everyone else's fixtures. So, for example, Arsenal have got to play City. Chelsea have got to play Leicester. United have got to play West Ham. Liverpool have got to play Leicester. And United have got to play Chelsea I'm in saying this time. We've got, be, we've, and got we've got those fixtures. We could be West Brom, Newcastle, Southampton, Norwich, Watford. Third or second, we could be up there. But yeah. this is oh, just... you've really gone for it now. For I'm, I'm, I'm going, going for it. I'm <laughs> going for it. I'm joking. We're not going to win this. I don't want to get excited. But I'm going for it. I'm not getting excited. But I... Yeah. Very good yeah. of you to bring that in from home. Yeah. Um, oh, bless him. He's, got, he's been waiting to <laughs> A man can all dream. Day. Yeah. Uh, Emma, I, what are your thoughts? I'll be slightly more conservative. Um, I think we could be fourth by the end of 2020. I think we can be fourth. Okay. Do. Who do you think is going to be top? 
I think it's probably still going to be Man City. I know they've had wobbles, but they've got too much quality in their squad to not be. And I don't think, you know, with the exception of the fixtures you mentioned there, I don't think they've got a hideous Christmas period. I'm going to no. throw a wild one in there. No. I'm, I'm going to say Manchester United. Whoa. Really? I just, really? Even with the football they're playing at the moment? Yeah, because it is, it's, it, there's no risk in their game, but there seems to be reward. Like, the LVG is just making sure they don't give the ball away. And if they get a goal, they get a goal, but they just don't look like conceding much. I and that's mean, like us, we don't like conceding much. <sighs> yeah, but they've so got the best, they've got the best defence in the league. They've got the best defence in the league. And we've got the second best. I mm-hmm. know, oh, but we're talking about Man United right now. Yeah. That was you were talking about Man City, that's your prediction. Yeah. You were talking about Man United. Oh, so you think okay. Man, Man United's United got the best defence. Man United's, Man United's <laughs> got the best defence in the league. And I just feel like if Martial starts scoring again, then Martial's I, I, struggling now though. Yeah, but he's, he's good. I put him on a fantasy team, that's why I go. That take him out, um, take him out. So at time. the moment we've got we've got Manchester will be top of the league at Christmas, one of the Manchester teams, and yep. Spurs will be second, third, or fourth. <laughs> that's what we've got. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Specific. I'm gonna go with Spurs being third at Christmas. Uh, and like every year that we're in the top four at Christmas, my dad will print out the league and put it in a Wait, frame. quickly, quickly, <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. How many, how many of those games do you think we're going to win? I think... We didn't get your opinion yeah, on that. Yeah, we didn't get yours. You put okay. us on the spot. I think we'll beat West Brom. I think yeah. we'll beat Newcastle. I think we might draw with Southampton. I think we'll beat Norwich. And I think we could draw with Watford. Um, so, but I still think that's a really decent amount of points from Massively. that amount of games. I think we should hopefully beat Monaco. Although we might play a slightly weaker side because given that we've qualified can, anyway can we believe we're getting to the point where we think we're going to get to the end of 2015 unbeaten that that yeah that's i do i can't whoa. see us i can't really whoa. can't see it. it'd be a, it'd be a real <laughs> slip up to lose one of those games um yeah. but you never know if, <laughs> if there is an injury then you never know because i don't trust fazio and fazio I'm, should I'm be not nowhere, sure near, about nowhere near as long as out of roads around we should not lose exactly let us know your prediction for where we're going to be at the end of 2015 if it's you know second third fourth fifth sixth whatever we've pretty much covered all bases except relegation because we're not chelsea anyway thank you for watching uh enjoy happy new year i suppose uh and subscribe to the channel if you're new give us a like and follow us on twitter at spurred on tv hello welcome to spurverts part one i am here with craig mitch oh and emma story how are you doing good thank you 